So hello everyone. Today we are going to understand Neuber chamber and also the calculation done for total WBC and total RBC count. As you guys are always confused for this calculation, today I am going to simplify it the way you will never gonna forget. And at the time of practicals, you don't have to buy heart because you have understood it. So the Neuber chamber is divided into two central platforms by edge shape groove. Let's focus Neuber chamber and the microscope in 10x. This is the upper right square that is used for WBC count. Then it is the upper left, then lower right, then lower left. And this is the central platform that is used for total RBC count. So let's start with total leukocyte count. The four squares in the corners are used for total leukocyte count. So area of one square is one millimeter square. As there are four such squares, so area of all four squares are four into one millimeter square, that is four millimeter square. And volume, that is equals to area into height. So area is four millimeter square and height below cover clip is one by 10 millimeter. So it's four by 10 millimeter cube. So 2 by 5 millimeter cube and the total WBC we counted in all the 64 squares is 131. So in 2 by 5 millimeter cube, we have 131 WBC. So by unitary method in 1 millimeter cube, we have 131 into 5 by 2 WBC. So these are the WBC that is present in our diluted blood. But we want to know the number of WBC in normal blood. We will divide it by the dilution factor. Uh, dilution factor is equals to total volume of bulk divided by volume of blood taken. It's 10 by 0 0.5. Dilution factors come out to be 20. So total WBC present in our blood is 131 into 2 by 5 into 26,550 WBC per millimeter cube. What is our conclusion is the WBC count in our blood is normal. Because the normal WBC count is uh, 4,000 to 11,000 WBC per millimeter cube of blood. So thank you guys. Keep subscribing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye everyone.